Hey everyone, today's topic is trigonometry, which means triangles and their measures if you go back to their roots, but whatever. Here's a triangle. This is the basis of trigonometry. It is a special kind of triangle. It is a right triangle, meaning it has a right angle. That angle is 90 degrees. That's what we're going to base most of trigonometry off and then generalize stuff from there. So, right triangle, and then I'm going to label one angle with the symbol theta. Now, once we know we have a right triangle and we have another angle, all the angles in a triangle have to add up to 180 degrees. So by knowing that one of them is a right angle and knowing one other angle, whatever it is, I have to know what this one is. Now what that does is it means for any given angle that I pick, let's say 30 degrees, if this is 30 degrees, that's 90 degrees, that forces that to be 60 degrees. Any triangle with those angle measurements, no matter how big the triangle is on lengths, has similar ratios. All the angles have to match, so all the sides have to have similar ratios. Those ratios are what we're basing trig off of. We have several. Now, I'm going to label each side a different thing so that we can refer to them over and over. The side opposite the right angle, I'm going to call the hypotenuse. Or HYP for short. The side opposite this angle, whatever angle it happens to be, I'm going to call it the opposite side. Very original, I know. So that side right there. We've got the hypotenuse, we've got the opposite. And then we have this side, which is right next to this angle. So I'm going to call that the adjacent side. Now, we have a label for each one. We have three primary trig ratios related to angles. They are called sine, cosine, and tangent. The first one, sine, acts on this angle. And what it does is it relates this angle to the opposite side and the hypotenuse as a ratio. So sine of this angle theta is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. That's the first one. The second one is called cosine. It again acts on that same angle, but it doesn't relate the opposite and the hypotenuse, it relates the adjacent and the hypotenuse as a ratio. So cosine of theta is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And then the last of the primary three is called tangent. Tangent well, we've already used opposite hypotenuse and adjacent hypotenuse. We could switch those orders, but that's not really telling us anything new. That's just presenting it in a new way. But we haven't yet compared opposite to adjacent. So that's the one that tangent's going to represent. So tangent, that angle theta, that's that symbol, is opposite over adjacent. Now, why are these useful? Well, like I said earlier, if we know this angle, no matter what the size of the triangle is, whether it's really, really, really small or it's miles wide, as long as the angles are the same, they're similar to each other. They have the same ratios preserved. So, let's go with this being 30 degrees, like I mentioned earlier. I happen to know that when a right triangle has an angle of 30 degrees in it, the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse is equal to one half, which is a really nice measurement. What that means is, if this side right here is one, the hypotenuse is two in a 30, 90, 60 degree triangle. 
in a triangle where this side is 5, this side is 10. In a triangle where this is 20, this is 10. It always has that ratio, 1 to 2. For every 1 in the opposite, there are 2 in the hypotenuse, in length. Same thing if I don't know that angle, but I do know that it's a right triangle, and that one of the sides related to the other side has a ratio of 1 half, then this angle has to be 30 degrees. Now, all of these are saved in your calculator. There is no way to know all of these off the top of your head. Because I could give you an angle of 30.11112. That's something that I hope nobody has memorized. Someone probably does, but that's just above and beyond. For the rest of us, we toss sine of 30.11112 into our calculator and get a number. It's going to be close to 1 half. It's going to be close to 0 0.5, but not exactly. And Maybe in this triangle it wouldn't make that much of a difference, but in something miles wide, being off by just a little bit could affect things greatly. So, trigonometry basically boils down to this right triangle, labeled this way, and these three ratios, sine, cosine, and tangent. There are others, and it gets a little bit more in depth as we generalize it to other things, but this is the basics. So take this, do what you can with it, and I'll help you out next time with a little bit more.